Hey guys, welcome to Flat Top King. Hey, today we took a cheesy tortellini. We made a Tuscan style lemon infused chicken. We added all kinds of ingredients. We think it came out fantastic. I tried burrata for the first time. Really good. If you guys wanna see how we make this, here we go. Alrighty, today is my very first day as a national champion. I woke up this morning as a national champion. If you don't know, the volunteers just won the World Series and I could not be happier. Um, got my custom hat. I think it brings <laughs> us good luck. People can disagree, but without the hat, we wouldn't have won it. All right, with that being said, a little horse today. Excuse that, had a little excitement last night. This is the idea, we're gonna uh, inject the chicken. I've been injecting chicken lately. We did it on another video where we did that jalapeno juice and the lime and the tahine and just fell in love with it. I've upgraded the marinades to injecting. You guys can do what you want. These things are pretty common, widely available online, but I absolutely swear by them. And uh, injecting the chicken, especially when you're griddle cooking, we know that chicken can dry out extremely quick on the griddle. Um, injecting it versus just marinating, I think just adds that moisture to the chicken that we all crave. That being said, let's get started. Take your option in the grocery store. Uh, we chose this one, we've used it before. It's actually really good. I don't really care about the brand. I'm just looking at the ingredients and it's something we agree with. It has a fantastic flavor, okay? So I'm just looking, I'm just guessing, just eyeballing. We've got three chicken breasts. So let's say that's one, two, three's worth. If you have a little extra, you can always marinate it or something like that. We just have a lemon here. We're gonna squeeze all that lemon in there. It just gives it that brightness, that freshness, that zing. So that's three quarter of a lemon. I'm just gonna taste it. Now that we have the citrus and the balance of like the Asiago and the marinade, we're just gonna add just a little bit of mayonnaise for fatness. Uh, once it gets inside that chicken, fatness, is that a fatness. word? Fatness. I'm all bored. So just creates like a little creaminess, a little bit thicker. One pack of chicken breast. Just take these out of the package. You can definitely see the different sizes, small, medium, large. We need to adjust that really quick. With this one right here, I'm probably not gonna do much. It's pretty even. You can see the fat part right here. Maybe just pound that down just a hair. Maybe cut that tip off right there. Cause that's just gonna overcook on the griddle and we can cook that and make it like little um, taste bites, something like that. But right there is pretty even. You don't want this too thin cause you wanna be able to have enough girth in the chicken to inject, right? If it's too thin, it's just gonna go everywhere. So you are looking for kind of a thick piece but you wanna also even. I'm just gonna cut the tips off. Get that fat side hammer down. I'm looking for even pieces of chicken. Since this one's so big, it's gonna give us problems. I can tell you that right now. So let's go ahead and cut this off. Yeah, why don't we just go ahead and cut this just like that. So that's pretty much even. See how I'm looking at it, how even that is? And then from here. Still got a lot of built up energy after that game last night. I said it's great to be a Tennessee Vol. All right, pretty close. So you see right here, Okay, everything is relatively even. We're good to go on that. Really quickly, I'm just gonna show you. So one's got a large end, one's got a small end, but this small end has two holes in it. Doesn't really matter which one you use. If you get something that has like um, herbs, cheese, um, red pepper, stuff like, like an Italian dressing, you got all those flakes in there. That could clog up your holes, so just be careful, so. Do you know where we got that this? injection needle? Uh, Amazon, good old Go so we'll, Amazon. we'll link it you will all right no rhyme or reason but i tell you what it really works so you're just going to find especially those fat parts put that needle all the way in and keep the same hole don't inject it a hundred times keep the same hole Ooh. squirter by keeping the same hole you have less spots where the mar where the marinade comes out yeah, that's why you actually, you know what? That's a good way to look at it because that's why you don't want to pound your chicken too thin. Oh, honey! <laughs> honey! I, <laughs> this is like, <laughs> this, this is a good shirt. <laughs> it was. Now you're thinking, why not just marinate it? I don't know. I guess we've just been testing some different things out on the griddle. It really comes down to moisture. Chicken is extremely hard to get perfect on the griddle. Um, 
by injecting it, I really think it just helps bring out not only the flavor, but the tenderness and the juiciness. That lemon is gonna help break down the chicken as well as we let it marinate. By the way, go check out our smoked Mexican chicken on pellets and pits. You wanna leave a link below? We'll leave a link below for that one. Okay, that's a fair one. That's All right, chicken's done being ejected. We're just gonna set it on a sheet tray and we are going to just add the rest of that sauce. It's already got that lemon, that Parmesan, all that garlic in there. And we're gonna let it marinate for about four hours. All right, so this is the vegetables that we came up with. Honestly, it's one of those things where you can add whatever you want to. The whole idea of this dish is fresh, light, everything you want like in a summer dish, right? So we have some fresh basil, some uh, tricolor tomatoes, a little lemon to squeeze on the end, some sun-dried tomatoes, some artichokes, a shallot, and a zucchini. All right, our griddle's heating up nicely, roughly 350. These are large chicken breasts. If you have a thinner chicken breast, you can go up to about 400, 425. But since they are larger, I don't want to burn them. You got all that mayonnaise and the um, that dressing on there. So let's keep it a low temperature. Let's allow the, t uh, the griddle to build up heat along with the chicken. And we should have a juicy chicken. You guys know I love it. Salt, pepper, garlic, and butter. Just seems like it would go naturally. Use your favorite. Find one that's open. We're gonna season the first side like this, put it down, then we'll season the other side. Notice there's no oil on the griddle. Would you like to explain why? Me? Good job. Because you're using mayonnaise. Mayonnaise is made with? Oil. You're using a dressing, which is made with? Oil. You've already got it on there. Let's flip it in another area. See that color? Yeah. Once again, clean it as you go. Getting that junk off of there so it'll have a chance to burn. Alrighty, just checking our temps here. Obviously, you got different sizes, so be very mindful. You know, one piece could be done earlier than the next one. That one right there looks really good. All right, we have two chicken breasts that are uh, holding back on us. So while those are finishing up, I got this side of the griddle cleaned off. I got this to a medium, this to a low. And uh, we'll start sauteing our vegetables, getting ready to add that pasta. A little bit of oil down for the vegetables. I'm gonna throw down the shallots and the zucchini. Hold those tomatoes for a little bit later so they don't just break down on you. Once again, just mirroring those flavors. Try to keep the integrity of the zucchini so it just doesn't become mush. You can see that we're about, I don't know, 30% cooked, so that's a good one for me. We're gonna add those tomatoes, let it do its thing. Then we'll release the moisture, which is gonna add some steam naturally. We've got the sun-dried tomatoes, artichokes. I'm turning this side of the griddle off. All right, we got the five cheese tortellini. We just thought that once again, just adding those layers of flavor. Um, you can use regular tortellini, but why not stuff it with cheese? It's right on the grill. So for this recipe though, you need to get the refrigerated tortellini. Yeah, this is not hard. This is refrigerated, good call. I know it sounds untraditional, but I'm gonna add just a little bit of oil. Just to try to get a little browning on the tortellini. Once that tortellini starts working, just add a little water to it. Yeah, 
Yeah, see those nice little toasty bits right there? You don't have to do it. Personally, I like it. I think it just adds another layer of flavor. Right before you pour your tortellini, let's add a little bit more flavor. Add a little bit of that uh, dressing. While that tortellini is in the process of absorbing more flavor, add just a touch of whipping cream. We're gonna hit it with like a quarter of a lemon for brightness. Right before we take it off, about three quarters of that fresh basil. All right, so our main component's done just to top it off with that little dressing, just a light drizzle. Your pasta's basically absorbed all that liquid, the cream and this little basil. So we'll just top it off for a little freshness, a little zippy zap. I am gonna come back in here and repeat some of those ingredients that we did on the griddle. So just a little bit of uh, juice for uh, freshness as well. That lemon just really helps cut that fat and richness. I told you them boys wanted to eat today. They're on the way. A little basil, they can smell it from the house. We're gonna take some burrata. If you never tried it, it's almost like an extremely soft mozzarella filled with cottage cheese. Can't have too much cheese. Actually, we're just gonna break it on there. Just look at that right there. Mm. All right, we've got that rested chicken breast. I'm just gonna show you really quickly. See how the grains are running this way? We're gonna slice this way. So let's see if we can get some pockets of goodness in there. Oh yeah, see it coming out? Watch that right there, yeah. That chicken is just infused with all that dressing. The dressing that didn't make it on my shirt. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we gotta try it, honey. Seriously, thing. Mm, mm. Exactly what we've been finding when we've been injecting chicken. It really takes the learning curve off of griddle chicken because your chicken is full with so much moisture that you're able to get away with, you know, a little bit more. Kind of like the idea of a chicken thigh. How it's got so much fat. <laughs> Look how moist that is. I know. Got the flavors in there too, built mm, in. It's super good flavor. Yeah. You could just make the chicken and just eat the chicken breasts. All right, kid, enough talk. We got that broth in there that's kind of like warming up to the pasta. You got your summer vegetables. You got your cheesy tortellini. You got your flavor infused chicken. I think it's going to be a good dish. The chicken is fantastic. You want the first bite? I mean, I've already been sneaking bites off camera. <laughs> I already know it's good. Mm, yeah. mm -hmm. It would be really good cold too, as like a cold pasta mm. salad. But go Man. ahead and give me another bite. No, that is good. That is really, yeah, as you said, you can have it cold. You can refrigerate that chicken, you can refrigerate the noodles, make it like a pasta salad out of it. That's good. Mm. That's good. Mm. A lot of prep work can be done inside. All the marination of the chicken can be done inside, the injecting. Heck, if you want to, you can boil the pasta inside, you know, for about three to four minutes, drain it really well, add all the ingredients. We always say that a griddle is nothing but a big skillet, but when you're doing that much food, that's where a griddle shines. That's perfect. That's family style. Kids come, family comes. That might be a portion of one though. I was going to say, that's a portion of two. <laughs> <laughs> no, that tortellini is super, super Bro, good. Bro, first time having it. Check mark off the list. Perfect addition. It is very good. Parmesan cheese would work well. Here, let me try another bite. You name the ingredients, you could put it in there. Mm. Yeah, that that burrata is super good. I do think you could substitute mozzarella if you want, because burrata is kind of harder to find. Yeah. But a lot of substitutions. But mm -hmm. the bulk, the base of it, the idea of it, the freshness, the lemon definitely comes through because you got all that fat and oil. It's a good dish. It's it's balanced. It's what the chicken's very moist. That's legit. I mean, that's a restaurant quality dish right there. It's super good. Yep. All right, guys, as always, find us on Instagram. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to press that subscribe button. Pound the notification button. Share with your friends. Peace. Williams, portion of one. <laughs> mm, that's that is, good. It's super good.